you guys welcome back to my channel success engineering today we are going to learn how to place the ceiling diffuser in a terminal device so let's start now and this is one space you can see here and we are going to place the diffuser in the actual practice I will show I will show you how to place this air terminal ceiling diffuser in the actual practice for example you have this project you have this space from your project so how you can how you are going to place this air terminal in this space so for example there are uh, 6000 CFM for this space and this CFM has been calculated from the load uh, calculation so copy this text first put it here so for example this is marketplace and uh, CFM is 8000 CFM we need for this uh, space so first of all we have to divide and uh, decide uh, how many air terminal we are going to place how many supply diffuser and uh, how many return diffuser we are going to place here the so, total CFM is 8000 for example so I am going to place 8 uh, supply and 8 return air terminal. So divide this total flow divided by 8. So 1000 it's each CFM. So what we are going to do first of all you have to create one construction line in vertical position and one horizontal construction line. Then the, uh, then the distance from the wall is nothing but the total length divided by number of diffuser into two. So if you see this vertical axis, this vertical axis, the so total distance is sixty feet. What you will do? Distance from the wall sixty divided by number of diffuser. So in this axis I am going to put 4 and this axis 4. So this axis the number diffuser will be 2 and into 2. So 4 into 240. So move this one. Total length divided by number of diffuser into 2. So 4. 15 feet simply move this 15 feet down move this one 15 feet and distance between diffuser is distance from the wall into 2 so distance from the wall is 15 into 2 so 30 feet and offset 30 feet simply offset this line and this side is again same distance from the wall divided by number of diffuser into 2 so distance from the wall is total length divided by number of diffuser into 2 so total length in the x axis is 100 Total length is 100. So 100 divided by 100 divided by number of diffuser 8 into 2 16. So 6.2 offset 6.2 inch. Offset 
six feet. Multiple offset with multiple. see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 total is 14 sorry sorry not like this this number of field distance from the wall is uh, Distance from the wall is total length divided by number of diffusion into 2. So total length is 100 by number of diffusion 8 into 216. So 6.25. And distance uh, between diffusion is and distance from the wall into 2. 12.5. So offset 12.5 feet. Seven, eight. So you can see this already divided. So what you will do? Simply copy this. Apply ceiling diffuser. And place it here. Alternate. Supply. Then here supply. Then here supply. Supply diffuser. Then supply diffuser. Again here supply diffuser. Here supply diffuser, then here supply, then here supply. Simply erase this. Okay, and move this one to this point. This is okay. Move also this to this point. Okay. Okay. okay, so supply diffuser already placed. Now copy this return diffuser. You copy from here, place an alternative, place it at an alternate point. Okay, and simply erase this instruction line. Now you can see here. We have placed this uh, supply and return diffusion. So I hope you guys learn something from this video. So please share, like and comment my video and don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my upcoming video. So I hope you guys learn how to place the ceiling diffuser in, the, in any space. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you very much. We will meet the meet in the next video and I will show you how to draw the single line drawing. So thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for watching my video.